Hello, my name is Drew Crawford and I'm a lecturer and the undergraduate admissions tutor in the Department of Music here at the University of Southampton. I'm a composer and I've done lots of different kinds of creative projects over the years, including pop and electronic dance albums, main stage theatre and dance productions, operas, film and TV, art installations and big corporate events like the launch of the Porsche Experience Centre in Shanghai. I'm interested in lots of different kinds of music and in music production, which is about how we realize musical ideas as sound. For me, that incorporates music in multimedia of all kinds, how music gets made in the studio, and also our experience of music in physical space. I was able to explore some of these ideas in a new work with the students here in the department last year called Waves Of, which you can check out on our virtual open day YouTube playlist. At undergraduate level, I'm currently leading on the final year dissertation module in commercial composition, and a new module as well called The Producer as Composer. In 2019, the global recorded music industry reported US $20.2 billion in revenues, the majority of which comes from music we would classify as songs. In The Producer as Composer, we examine how new technologies are changing the way these songs are made and then make them ourselves as part of the course. We're an energetic, committed, curious and friendly group of colleagues who've all had very different careers in music. For a start, there are not one but two of us Australians, plus two Americans, two Italians, as well as an eclectic range of Brits on staff. I feel very fortunate to be surrounded by colleagues who are world-leading experts on subjects as diverse as the operas of Verdi and other 19th century composers, or notorious 20th century pedagogue Nadia Boulanger and domestic music making in Georgian England, arts management and cultural policy, classical as well as contemporary performance, and Mexican narco rap. Matthew Shlomovitz is in the midst of a large-scale project right now composing music for cohabitors, responding to the global lockdown due to the coronavirus pandemic and writing new pieces for musicians who are living together. There are now over 40 of these pieces. This has also sparked our colleague Tom Irvine to form a working group seeking to map and measure the musical responses to the coronavirus pandemic in diverse social and online media, including Facebook and Instagram posts, YouTube and TikTok videos, Twitter live feeds, amongst many others. This is just a few quick examples, but as you can see, there's a lot going on in the department. Southampton is similarly a vibrant, connected and culturally diverse city with a thriving music scene. It's a modern city, but one which has been inhabited since the Stone Age and has been an important port since the Roman occupation nearly 2000 years ago. And I think this tension between booming modernity and deep history is one of the things I love most about living and working here. I wanted to make sure that you had a chance to hear from our current undergraduates about their experiences. And so to that end, I started by asking them what were some of the highlights of their time here? I think the highlights have definitely been my performance opportunities that I've had here. So in my first year, I was allowed to explore some 18th century Chinese music for an event. And I had the chance to um, learn bass flute for the first time um, and had the opportunity to do some recordings in a, in a goods lift for a, for a sound experiment, um, which I absolutely loved. The opportunity, in fact, to work with lecturers the experts in their field and that does sound like a bit of a cliche to be honest but that it has been one of the highlights is the uh the staff in the department um they're all so approachable and so helpful um that's been a real highlight and something that i haven't experienced in other institutions the employment days today where you can come and they bring in professionals from each area of music that you might want to go into another highlight's got to be the uh ensembles evening that we have down at a local music venue called the brook absolutely fantastic evening of the music department's live bands and uh you know often the third year bands have some proper bangers in their set list it's so, a great uh, night isn't it it's, it's, it's really absolutely good. fantastic that's definitely a highlight basically my relationship with my instrument so my teacher for saxophone is dan marmel nero and he just made me excited about my instrument again like showing me things that I haven't even seen and I've been playing the instrument for upwards of 10 years. It was no longer, I have to practice for an exam. It was more about if this is something that you want to do with your life, this is how you do it. I was first flute for a performance project in my third year um, and we played Richard Ayres in the Alps. In the Alps was amazing. I was lucky enough to be at the front row for photography purposes. And for that, I had to learn um, bass flute, which I'd never learned before, and be able to sort of switch between piccolo and bass flute 
normal flute C flute and um, the whole way through was was a really was a yeah was an experience I, I loved and an achievement I'm really proud of and it was just insane they brought in a professional singer called Juliet Fraser to do their actual Alps bit and it was breathtaking it was really spectacular we were performing with professionals we were performing with uh, costumes that were custom made for us it was really spectacular because music students and students that don't even take the music degree but other students from around the university all came together alongside professionals to put on a great show in turn Sims. it was a great night in the concert hall it was a fantastic night it was so much fun yeah would you say that your year abroad was a highlight yeah, my year abroad was was definitely a highlight. I think um, I just had the opportunity to grow as a person and learn about myself and learn about a new culture. And um, my year abroad has given me um, such a great confidence boost and also an attitude um, that I can. Um, and when I go into the workplace now, I'm not shying away thinking, oh, I can't do that. I've never done that before. But you know what? I, I spent a year in a different country. If I can do that, um, especially in a foreign language, I can I can do everything. So, yeah, that was a that was a huge highlight. And I made some amazing friends and I have some absolutely fantastic memories from my time out there. Studying music with us will equip you with the kinds of higher level skills that employers value now and that will be crucial in addressing future global challenges, independent learning critical analytic thought, creativity, teamwork, and effective communication. In fact, recent studies have confirmed that graduates from arts and humanities subjects, such as music, are highly employable and enjoy greater flexibility and choice in building their careers than graduates from STEM subjects, that is, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. You will gain these valuable skills here in the department through the high quality of teaching on our diverse and flexible program which allows you not only to explore different aspects of music making and its role in society, but also to specialise if you wish. Performance, composition, musicology and analysis, and community and industry studies all have a wide array of options for you to choose from to tailor your degree to your interests. I asked some of our current second and third year students about their favourite modules. Talk me through some of your favourite modules. What modules have you enjoyed the most or found the most challenging or really changed your mind about the way you think about music? All of the modules I've done at Southampton, I, I've absolutely loved every single one of them. I can't say there was a module that I didn't find interesting. The module that stretched me the most was um, your module, uh, a producer as a composer, because I had never done tech. I'd never done music tech, never done production, never done recording. Uh, producer as composer was amazing. There was one called uh, producer as composer, which I believe you... Uh run yourself I told you this at some point like this is what I came to university to learn it was a really steep learning curve but at the end of it I had not only a song but a piece of music that I was proud of I, in the module we looked at you know did the process of of being a producer and composing in the studio environment and and having the studio as as a musical instrument almost and I was way out of my comfort zone but actually had the most fantastic learning opportunity and, and produced a song and the production quality was not maybe as high as some of my as some of my colleagues but the whole experience of having this song that I'd created sort of transformed from just me sat at the piano singing it to myself to this whole produced song that was with a with a voice student and it had been done in a professional recording studio and um, I dabbled a little bit with logic to to make it sound a bit extra was, uh, was absolutely fantastic yeah that's a standout module for me it was a really tall order but I was really really pleased with the end result and I continue to use those skills in all my other modules since then Ah, oh, a classic music therapy. That was really, really interesting. And seeing the power that music can have to change people's lives. And obviously the lecturer um, is fantastic in that and works as a music therapist. That was really eye-opening as well. I think one of the best modules I had actually was film composition because it showed a way of thinking about film and picture in a way that I hadn't before and how much music actually informs the emotions that you feel when watching a picture. How the Arts Work was such an eye-opening module. So it discussed things about the Arts Council and how, how it gets funded in the UK and how it works on a deficit-based funding system and how most organisations that run with music are charities. And it was just really, really eye-opening to see 
the music admin side. Other performance modules continue to be challenging and eye-opening also. I think it's second year, I mean, first year also has fantastic modules, but as soon as you get to choose um, where you really want to go, it really uh, opens up. As you can see, it's not all about the producer as composer. Our course is extremely flexible and you'll be able to choose from a wide variety of other very popular modules, including the American musical, from Teddy Boys to Drag Queens, music and subculture, community music with the Bournemouth Symphony Orchestra, musical theatre composition, orchestration and arranging, music and sound production, and more. You'll be required to do at least one dissertation module, but that can be in either musicology, performance, composition, or music technology. Some students choose to do two dissertation modules. If you're taking performance as part of the course, you'll study with outstanding instrumental and vocal teachers who will expose you to new repertoire, stretch your technique, and build your confidence. And you'll have the opportunity to participate in performance projects like the ones regularly organised by our head of department, Ben Oliver, working on exciting and challenging programmes of contemporary repertoire with professionals and other students from across the university. We have a personal academic tutor system here which allocates an academic in the department to give you one-on-one -on -one support and advise you throughout your time at the university. Your personal academic tutor, or PAT as they're known, will help you in the transition as you settle into university and make sure that you make the most of your time studying at Southampton. You'll then see them regularly throughout the academic year to help you reflect on your progress and support you in thinking about your development and advise and support you regarding your studies and help you with any academic or personal difficulties that may affect your progress. The sense of community in the music department is absolutely fantastic. It was something that I really, really missed when I went on my year abroad. The, the community uh, feel in the department is fantastic. I say to people when they come for open days, it's not huge, but it's not small either. So by week two, all my lecturers knew my name, which really helped, especially coming in first year, because you think that university is going to be this big, scary thing, but it's actually a wonderful experience to come into this music department. You have to put yourself out there. This is the most important thing I found, and you have to take the opportunity Opportunities, but after you've actually took the step to be proactive, um, everyone is out to help you and everyone is out there to give you opportunities. Um, and especially uh, taking performance modules, you see the same people every day, you're always rehearsing with them. And, you know, lecturers always got their doors open to, to, to ask questions and popping in and out. I know, uh, Drew, you've helped me in the studio a few times, just coincidentally. Um, but that's the kind of atmosphere it is people will jump in and help it doesn't matter it doesn't feel like staff and students it feels like one whole musical creative body of people which is really fantastic everybody knows everybody all the lecturers know your name and um, all the lecturers are, are interested in you as a person um, as well as your academic results and um, how you're progressing through their modules um, I just I loved being able to walk into the music department in the morning go to the office have everyone sort of smile and say good morning and oh you're here to pick out the bass flute aren't you Bethany and sort of things things like that that even even down to the office staff everyone everyone knows you and everyone cares that was yeah a really really warm nurturing family environment it is like a second family because we're all there because we really really like music so like after that basis is covered how can you not get on you know and then all the lecturers the formality is not there like it is in school so you don't have to call anybody sir and madam and when you go and see a lecturer to talk about work or something you end up talking about pasta and how uh, different different things affect your life and how they got into the business of music and what their experiences was and you just make friends it's really it's been a really nice experience actually I'm sad that we're not at uni at the moment. There's also involvement in Southampton University student union societies particularly the performing arts societies. So in first year I was a member of I think three different orchestras um that was really fun because it mixes you with people that not only love music but don't take music so i've been involved in the three auditioned orchestras and also dabbled a little bit in playing for um some of the opera productions that were put on um, and some musicals i had the opportunity to play drums in a few of the university musical theater society shows which is a fully 
professional experience as much as it can be. What the orchestras allow you to do is get to know people from from across the music department and also obviously the people from, from other departments. But I think what is special about music um, is because of these performing opportunities we have, we get to know all of the uh, all of the orchestral players and well I got to know all of the orchestral players in the department. And um, putting on concerts and stuff is a beautiful feeling in yourself. So I suggest that you join at least two societies because it does build like your friendship and your network in ways that you wouldn't really have known before. That feels also too like, I mean, one of the important things about coming to a place like Southampton to study music is yeah. building a network um, yeah. organically. Mm -hmm. uh, and do you feel like you've got a strong network of peers when you leave? Yeah, definitely. Huge network of peers who play all sorts of instruments and, and sing and yeah. A hundred percent. I do feel like I am building a network that I will take out into the world because these are the friends that you will have for the rest of your life. In terms of facilities, you'll rehearse in dedicated individual and group rehearsal spaces, record in one of three state-of-the-art electronic studios or perhaps on location using one of our mobile recording rigs, and complete assignments on our networked multimedia and Macintosh workstations. Our Turner Sims Concert Hall supports the most extensive series of professional concerts and workshops of any UK university, and you'll have access to free and reduced price concert tickets throughout the year. The Turner Sims is only a few metres from our department, so you'll have the opportunity to perform there and in a range of different venues around the city. I hope you found this talk useful and that you're excited to learn more about studying with us here in Southampton. If you have any questions about the course, you can reach me on the UniBuddy system or email me directly. And I look forward to meeting many of you in real life when circumstances allow. Bye for now.